we bike, we bike, we bike, we bike. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Matthew Cone. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe. And today, today, we're going to do free video marketing tips, but I'll have a, a rant and I'm also restructuring everything. Ooh, fly man rant. graphics today uh first of all shout out to the new merch y'all know we gotta have we got to have the merch on you know um shout out to i'll make sure i'll uh comment the company that done my did my shirts they actually did two of my shirts and my hat that you guys see on today that i wore on last season's episode um so shout out to them it's like picky hats and embroidery or something like that located in phoenix arizona but um, I have so much to unpack, but my main, my main thing I want to go over with you guys today is um, being content creators for other companies and knowing knowing your worth. Uh, we're gonna talk about account analysis and also being able to understand what you can, what type of value you bring to the team. Because at the end of the day when you're being a content creator for other companies, whether it's a contract or whether it's a job, you have to know your value and what you bring to the table, what you're good at, what you're not good at, what you, what you can work on. Because they want to know at the end of the day what, what can you help them out with because that's the whole reason why you're being contracted out or being hired for a job. So me, as a, a content creator, I still run Cones Graphics and I still love my company. Um, I am an avid, avid, strong advocate for having multiple sources of revenue. Um, so again, we're going to talk about uh, circling back to being a content creator for other companies. So I've applied to, since I've been to Phoenix this whole year, I've applied to uh, many, many opportunities and many, many jobs to be a content creator for other companies. Uh, my gripe with these, let's say human resources is that, well, first of all, I, I do, when you're, when you're a content creator and you're looking for that source of revenue or that source of income to become an employee with another company, do research on a company, um, understand the company that uh, you are uh, applying for, uh, because when th if they happen to reach out back to you, you're you're going to want to be able to give them some type of rebuttal about their company or uh, something about their content or their media uh, that you are you will be creating for them or replacing whoever is currently there. So every time I apply to a job, I make sure I do research. I make sure I do um, take notes for it as much as possible. Um, my again, my gripe with the human resources departments that are picking and choosing the people that decide to get the interviews in that process is that they have um, certain qualifications, and in those certain qualifications, uh, a lot of content creators are either missing them or completely making them with those qualifications. And I say this as a rebuttal, just because you have those qualifications doesn't mean you qualify for the job, right? And a lot of these companies, when they're looking for content creators, they have a high sense of priority when it comes to certain things that they need for the qualifications. So I'll just say in my experience and what I've been seeing is that they want a bachelor's degree in a specific area and they also want some job experience. And I don't think they, from my experience, I haven't seen the portfolio set as high for a qualification standard when it comes to these interviews. And with that being said, I noticed that they are also selecting out of co no offense to the out of college, straight out of college. That's what you that's what you came to do. That's what you went to college for. They accept the younger college kids or even just the straight out of college uh, professionals with no experience, so they can pay them less and kind of mold them towards what they want them to do. So I had a job interview with a company and they decided to pick another person over me. I'm a big, again, I'm a big advocate for knowing your competition and knowing who's out there. Because you gotta know who you're up against because these, when it comes to any type of job, somebody else is gonna get it, somebody else is gonna be out there better than you and you gotta at least know what's going on so you can be ready for the next, 
for the next job or next opportunity that comes up. Because if you're not prepared and if you're not getting any feedback to change on what you need, how can you be ready for something that you want, right? I worked with the guy and I talked to the guy because I was a contract out a contractor outside of what they needed for the, the guy that they hired outside of me. And what I notice is, and I could be completely biased, and this is just my perspective, is one, he wasn't a business owner, and two, he didn't seem as go-getter and as hungry as me when it came um, to the field. And that, that could make absolutely sense when it comes from a, a marketing director standpoint is that, look, I don't need somebody um, that's doing all of this because it could distract them for the stuff that I need them to be doing inside the company. And also they have a sense of, okay, that guy isn't going to want to do anything much more outside of what we're giving them. Um, so that keeps them focused and not necessarily doing other, other stuff that could distract them from doing this job. So I completely understand that from a hiring standpoint. Um, but my gripe and the whole reason why I made this video is because you have companies that are constantly doing this process when they're hiring people and then you realize that they are not utilizing the person and that person is not a direct, uh, a, that nece necessary person they need as a content creator or marketing strategist or whoever they're replacing for that job, right? And the reason why I noticed is because I'm asking these companies and, and getting real-time feedback um, about the reason why they're needing new content creators. And majority of the companies are telling me, well, we hired somebody, but they just weren't the right fit. Well, if you guys keep hiring people based off of specific qualifications that you need, and they're not turning out to be the right content creator or person, why are you hiring them in the first place? Um, and again, that's, that's my biggest gripe. They need to put um, a, a, and I'm specifically talking to HR representatives, you guys need to put portfolio ahead first and understanding the personalities. Again, I had a, I have a whole video about this in the free video marketing tips playlist about choosing your right content creator, but they're, I'm, I'm telling you guys that you're doing it wrong because I'm researching these companies and I'm noticing their content and then I'm noticing who they're hiring and if they're hiring for people and what type of um, attraction that they're getting into accounts. And it, it, it doesn't fit the, the, the scheme of what they're trying to do. I've had multiple meetings with potential marketing teams about what they want to do and what they want to accomplish. And a lot of these companies are just simply not getting it done. And it, it, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a faceless or baseless high because I don't know the programs and inner workings of these mar some of these marketing teams and the companies, but they claim they want to do something and don't get it done. And then they're looking for replacements for the people that they, for, for the, for the, the team members that they need, uh, but yet based on the qualifications, they can't get the right person. So it's just, it just, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but again, this is, you have to keep going as a content creator. If you really, really want to achieve your dream of being a content creator for a company or uh, a contractor for a company, you just simply have to keep going and you have to keep shooting shots. So again, that was one of my biggest gripes. Um, I actually have a full breakdown uh, of a company that I applied for. So the company's name is uh, it's the Glendale Police Department, right? So they were hiring for a specific job and the job was videographer, social media producer, right? If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, I am a focuser on uh, interviews, um, telling stories, and also uh, that face-to-face -face camera uh, interaction uh, I do a little bit of recap, but I really, really specifically uh, specialize in interview type videos and review type videos um, that help companies, right? Um, not only that, that is what I'm good at. I focus at it, but I'm actually like really, really good at, right? Um, so the company wanted, again, we're going to talk about their qualifications. They specifically wanted qualifications uh, of a bachelor's degree for journalism and they wanted you to be able to be doing video editing and videographer for four years. That was that was the pre-qualifications. Um, so they had two jobs, right? The first one I applied for, 
uh, didn't get it because I didn't meet the qualifications. The second one, I actually, or, or the first one I applied for, didn't get it because I didn't meet the qualifications. The second one, they had a second position open up, and I just, I just wanted to actually read it instead of applying for it. So I didn't apply for it because I end up, what I end up doing is I wanted, I, I had this idea of making this video and coming to the basis of all the experience that I've gathered over, over the past couple of years just being a content creator and actually applying for these content creator jobs. So I, again, I, I did my research like I always do. I am actually going to either, at, on this part, I'm either going to show you the full screen of the account analysis that I made for the company or I'm either going to put it in one of these corners. Um, but what I did was I made a, I specifically made an account analysis um, a form for you guys to see so you can understand the process and my mindset of when I'm making these things or, or reaching out to companies to see whether or not they need a content creator or producer because it's really really important to understand if you're wanting to proceed to work with some of these companies you have to know the inner workings of the company as far as their marketing what they plan on doing because that might not fit to your standards right um, so in this um, account analysis that I made uh, for this company. Um, again, you see the account analysis in the left-hand corner. Um, on the right-hand side, this was their specific job. The way they set up the job was like a government contracting uh, position. So when I thought of this, I wanted to make sure I went above and beyond, but obviously I didn't meet, even meet the qualifications to even, for them to even look at my portfolio, for them to even give me an interview for the position that I know I'm qualified for. But we all know that's how this usually goes down. So with this account analysis, uh, on left-hand side, I made a tag for platforms. Um, so I, for, for when you're a content creator um, and you're, or your job is to make content you you absolutely want to see what social media platforms are on it and you want to look at their past performance on their social media content too because the reason why they created this job is because the previous person either left or they either left or they got rid of that person because they wasn't creating the content that they needed um, so immediately I noticed that this uh, that the Glendale Police Department had a Twitter account had an Instagram account had a LinkedIn account, had a Facebook account, have a Twitter, TikTok account. Um, again, just because you have those accounts doesn't mean you're reaching your target audience or getting the numbers that you want, but it's great to see that they, that they are at least active on social media, right? Um, so if I ever went into a meeting with, the, with these guys, I would have this account analysis form ready for them, which nine times out of 10, they're not going to expect it because I went above and beyond um, for this content creation job, right? Um, so I put editing goals, um, target audience and additions. Um, I, I didn't necessarily, um, have a chance, um, to put down editing goals or target audience because I didn't necessarily talk to that company, uh, to see what their editing and target goals was. If I had an interview with them, that's where that answer would be questioned or that, yes, that's where that question will be answered because I will ask them that in order to figure out what exactly they need from me as a content creator. Um, especially as a content creator, you're going into these jobs or are you trying to be a contractor? You, you want to know that type of information so you know what you're up against and you have an understanding of what needs to be done for the job. Um, so next is what are we creating, right? Um, engaging video stories or photo blogs. So I got that information from uh, the specific um, job description uh, for the Glendale Police Department. A lot of that information, they will tell you up front and they'll let you know what they need from you. And it's important to understand that information. That's why I wrote it down in the account analysis. Next is types of video marketing. Um, so what I was able to see and what I did on the research is uh, informational warnings, stats, connecting, bonding, recruitment, and interview styles. Um, horizontal and vertical videos used for stories, shorts, and reels, reels, and TikToks. Um, the reason why next on the account analysis I put Premiere Pro, Pro Notes is because most of these companies um, are ignorant to the fact that a lot of content creators have multiple different ways of creating content. Um, the issue is, based on my experience over years of interviewing and um, having clients, is that a lot of these companies only know one editing program, which is why I put Premiere Pro Notes 
Um, and these Premier Pro notes are based off of what I seen in the job proposal and what I studied on multiple their, uh, multiple of their social media accounts. Um, edited cuts to clean up raw footage, audio enhancements, color correction, transitions between uh, scenes. And then next is uh, another program that's kind of universal wide with these companies is After Effects. Uh, so I put animated title um, and green screen and that's the notes again that I took based off of the proposal for the job and also studying their social media accounts. Um, so next is um, in order to um, summarize what I've seen I put screenshots based off the research that I did for the company. I seen a Facebook vertical video, uh, a YouTube horizontal video, uh, Instagram horizontal video and then a TikTok uh, vertical video. Um, they are unfortunately not consistent um, with the type of videos that they create and also the posting um, that they do with their page. Again, um, just based off their social media platforms, I understand that they're a police department, but I'm not understanding their actual goal of posting on social media. Um, being a content creator, the company is should and not all the time this is going to happen, but they should have a direct answer to you as to why they're posting on social media and what their marketing goals is. And you always want to know that type of information. And when I study certain um, social media accounts, my goal is to figure out what their goal is, right? And that's information that you would love to get uh, from an interview. But you got to make it that far to actually get to an interview to ask those questions. But again, based off those um, qualifications, um, not, ne not necessarily saying it's hard to get in there, but um, if they want a consistent content creator, they have to go above and beyond with just more than the qualifications. Looking at the portfolios and understanding who your content creator is, um, is just so, so important. Um, so again, um, th this is going to be a new breakdown for you guys. I'm going to give you two reels uh, from this episode and make sure I'll upload a fully 15 to 20 minute video a free video marketing tips. Um, every month. I actually love this process and I love um, to see uh, my, my YouTube channel grow based off the information that I'm giving you guys. And, and not only that, I've surpassed 450 uh, YouTube subscribers. Let's go. Congratulations. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And if you have anything else that you guys want me to uh, talk about or bring up, make sure you leave a comment down below. Peace.